there Pixies, I went to the Warner Brothers Studio Tour on Saturday and I bought a few sweets. So I thought I'd show you what I got and I also want to show you the biggest Harry Potter purchase that I have made to date at Oliver's Brighton. So without further ado, I think we should just get into this, don't you? Okay, before I get into this, I just want to show you this bag that I got at Tesco whilst I was in London and it holds all of the things I got from the studio tour. It's double-sided, you've got the Hogwarts crest on one side and all the houses on the other. And if you look on the crest, actual Ravenclaw colours, an actual Ravenclaw animal. It's, it's amazing. Okay, so I just thought I would buy sweets this time at the tour. Nothing but sweets. So I got a box of sherbet lemons, which you have seen me have before because I really, really liked the sherbet lemons last time. So I bought another one and my mum will enjoy that too because she really liked them. I also wanted to try fizzing whispies. I So I bought them. They're milk chocolate fizzing whispies, milk chocolate with popping candy. So they're kind of like, um, the exploding bonbons I got, except they apparently smell like fruit, taste like fruit, not smell like fruit. So yeah, that's the Fizzing Whisbies. I like the packaging. I also buy these because the packaging are just so, so lovely. I mean, Mina Lima designed all of this and I, it always amazes me that they have done that because it's just incredible to me. And I bought this little candy sugar quill. There were blood pops as well and ice mice. But I thought I'd try the sugar quill because that was the one that I was always drawn to in the books. I was like, I would probably have a sugar quill so I could just be biting my quill and eating it whilst I'm trying to write in my lesson. And I just think that it's really cool. And I bought some peppermint toads. I have bought them years and years ago, like when I first went to the tour, and I didn't try them. I bought them from my mum, but she said they're really nice. so. I'm gonna try it and it's dark chocolate. She likes dark chocolate. So it's perfect for her. It's not really for me, but I like the packaging once again. I also bought another chocolate frog. I got the Gilderoy Lockhart card. I won't show you because I already have Gilderoy Lockhart. In fact, here are all the cards I currently possess. I have a Rowena Ravenclaw. I have an Albus Dumbledore. I have Garrick Ollivander. I have another Garrick Ollivander and I have a Gilderoy Lockhart. So now I have two Lockharts. Those are all the cards that I possess. And uh, the last thing I wanted to show you guys, this is not a very long video. I want to show you this absolutely beautiful Fox the Phoenix. Don't you just love him? The detail on him is incredible and he comes on a brass stand and also there's a little dip in the stand where he, I guess his ashes fall and then he just rises from the ashes and lands on there it's absolutely beautiful um, I want to be really careful with him but yes this is Forks and this is his stand and this is him absolutely lovely I've always wanted him so he was on my wish list you can check my top 10 Harry Potter wish list if you want. I'll put that in the cards, but this is Forks and I finally got him, the exact one, but I'm very happy with him. Let me put him back now. So that is all I really wanted to show you guys today. It's a very short video. I just wanted to let you know what I bought and I will probably do a taste test video for the Harry Potter sweets that I did buy. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Harry Potter videos. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.